So for me, it's like, let's take care of the low hanging fruit first. And the low hanging fruit is, can I get you basketball strong first without increasing hypertrophy? So can I teach you how to produce force at the right angles and how to throw your body weight around? Because somebody like a Kyrie Irving drives and they hit at the right time and they move big guys back without having to sacrifice their dynamic abilities by gaining hypertrophy. Instead of just doing four sets of 12 in the weight room, should I do more wrestling type of movements? Should I do more of like the trainer knocking me around? Um, it's like if you had siblings growing up and you wrestled a lot, you know how to throw around your body weight. Like little Elijah's grew up wrestling his brother every day and he's freakishly strong on the court. And it's just because like, that's where his training was, is just throwing people around and moving their body weight. So, so part of me thinks like, that should take priority early on instead of a hypertrophy block is like, can I teach how to move people and how to be hit without moving? Mm -hmm. So that's, that's one part of it. I think people should do more type of like almost sumo wrestler type of training uh, because then we can get you really basketball strong without having to put 20 pounds on. Then it's like, okay, you're still getting dominated in the post. So we did this and you're still getting dominated. Yeah. You need 10 pounds of muscle. Like, let's make that one of the later resorts. First, let's get the low hanging fruit because that's gonna improve all areas of our game and there's no negative, there's no consequences to getting basketball strong, whereas there's heavy consequences to getting bigger. So you brought up the concept without saying it directly. It's a fancy word that can easily be explained. It's called your biodynamic structure. Ooh, cool name. All it means is basically how your biology, your body, dynamically structures itself, so dynamic movement in, well, performance itself. So how does your biology decide to form itself in performance? And within that, there's a thing called force efforts. That's just a fancy word of saying you produce force at certain angles at certain times to showcase your skill. Yo. And so if we have what's called motor potential, so our whole body's ability, if we have to use all of our muscles perfectly, we'd be using 100% of our motor potential. If we could use our motor potential more effectively in our biodynamic structure, so using our muscles to produce better timed force efforts, angles, in our skill, and that is how we get better, that is more beneficial than saying, let's just increase the raw physiology and hope it carries over to skill.